qu'elle vaut pas mal. Morning. How is everyone? Hope you're all alright. You've had a good day. I am doing a calm your clean with me. Welcome to another shit show. <laughs> plot twist. Alright, plot twist. I actually fancy it today. I really fancy getting stuck in. I want to pull my cooker out. You know, and just we had the second week in the East holidays, and I have got plans this week with the kids. I'm not sure what Steve's other sister's down this week, so we'll get up to something. But I want to like get all my major cleaning done today and a few loads of washing. So obviously, you know, I'll pop around in the week as well. But I want to really give it a good in today. You know, my cupboards need it especially. You know, from like the dogs bringing in mud. I've noticed like all at the bottom of the cupboards are very splashed, mud stained, so I need to get some spray on them, give them a good scrub. I'm not sure how many dishmatic heads I've got, but <laughs> I've got a few rags as well, some old, old clothing. So I'm gonna cut them up and use them as cleaning rags and then obviously rewash them and stuff and just keep using them as cleaning rags. So that's my plan today. I just really fancy it, you know. Been playing Uno with the kids all morning. I said, right, I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning now. Um, and I've also got a hoover. <laughs> been sent a hoover. This is by Procenic. And do you know what? I'm so excited to try it out. So excited. It's cordless. All right. My Henry hasn't even got the. I use a Henry hoover and it's. You know the bottom bit? I use the pipe. And I feel like it doesn't do a, an amazing job. Like the pipe's good for all your little bits, but. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a bit, a bit froggy at the minute in my throat. But um, this is like, you know, proper upright one. So it's by Pro Scenic, it's a cordless. Oh my God, sorry about that, my voice is going all over the place. <coughs> it's a cordless vacuum cleaner. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to try it out. So yeah, I'm gonna be having a little look at this, unboxing it and whatnot, you know. Never had a brand new Uber. To be honest, they've always been second hand. My Emery was off Facebook Marketplace. Great condition when I got it, you know, the person that sold it to me, like it was immaculate. Um, and it was off Facebook. And obviously the pipe, I haven't got the bottom bit of the pipe now. Um, you know, so it feels weird to have a brand new Hoover, to be honest. So yeah, very thankful to have received this, but I'll give it a good go later. Tell you my thoughts on it. When I get the Hoover out and stuff, or when I do that bit. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing today. You know, if you want to join me, go and get a cup of tea. I've just got a red hot coffee. I'm actually being really good with my coffees. I'm back on the five cow coffees, plain black basically. It tastes like shit, but I'm saving, like, I limit myself to two coffees a day at the minute of like my cheeky coffees, I like to say. You know, they're 100 calories, them ones, with the added bit of milk and a bit of sugar and stuff whereas these ones i've also i got this out of um, a degusta box i've also been on these not that bad i mean i feel like most green teas taste like absolute arse but you know it feels good it feels like i'm drinking something you know it just it's awful it is awful to be honest so is this black coffee but you know i'm on it to try and lose a few of them pounds, you know, to lose a few of them pounds, eh? But um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. If you wanna stick around, we're gonna be having a look at this Pro Scenic Hoover, cleaning my shit old house, and yeah. So I'll give you a tour, tour of the mess, in a sec, but I'd really appreciate it if you do wanna stick around. Um, you know, leave a like on this video if you like my content and whatnot. Subscribe to my channel, press the notification bell so you're alerted whenever I upload. Um, and yeah, I shall get on with it. All of this that you can see on the floor is from that tether. That's what Crash has done. So he's absolutely destroyed his tether. He loves tethers. I need to pick him some from the car boot. He's getting up now, look. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> what are you doing with my tether? Crashy. Crash, sit. Sit. Good boy, Paul. Paul. Yes, good boy. <gasps> and who is that? 
nicely. Whenever Sam gets attention, Crash is always like licking his face. Um, Sam lets him know though anyway. I'll tell him, piss off. But yeah, all these bits are from this tenner. So I need to do a bit of dusting as well. Honey is a bit mucky and whatnot. I've ordered a few free prints as well um, from free prints so I can, <laughs> have you got your blanket? So I can get some up on the wall and whatnot. Are you bringing me your blanket? Um, he went vetch yesterday and they said you were doing really well didn't they so yeah size wise as well they're quite impressed with how he's coming on so <laughs> what are you doing and she also said as well that um, she can tell that he's been well socialised so that was quite nice to hear So obviously, you know, you try your best, don't you? Also, with my sofa's right, it's that kind of material where, you know, if you spill a drink, like it shows. So I've seen people do um, like a shaving foam hack, apparently. Like you just cover, I've seen car seats being done as well. Like you cover your seats in shaving foam, leave it a bit and scrub it. So I might have to go out and try some of that this week, you know, to give it a good boost but we are planning on getting leather sofas because they're easy to wipe down with the dogs so yeah but these got plenty of life in for now who's a handsome boy look at your tail going <laughs> look at you i love it when his tail goes i'm talking about you <laughs> oh bless him oh sammy i love you <laughs> Oh, do you know what, Sam absolutely melts my heart. He's the most loyal, loving dog. Let me sit down. Oh, so loving, eh? We go walkies later. Would you like that if we go walkies? <laughs> oh, bless him. I love you. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> I love you, Sam into the kitchen so it's not that bad you've seen it worse so my printer for vinted my plant seal because this is where I rest my uh, camera when I'm filming so yeah I've got a few parts to wash I've got my wax melt stuff out as well because I'm gonna <coughs> excuse me bloody hell I'm gonna make a few wax melts today because I've run out um, Excuse me, honestly, my throat's driving me mad. I'm gonna make some cherry bake well ones. I've got some vanilla as well, so I might make some vanilla. I like downstairs to smell nice, you know, once it's all done, all clean, put a few melts on. It's not too bad, there's a few pots about the place, you know. I do wanna pull my cooker out as well, give that a good clean, wipe my fridge down and that, but um, yeah, I'll crack on with it.
crash has got the zoomers running from the gardens at the living room. I've been using this from Lidl, right? And it's crap. It was about 69p. And honestly, I just feel like it ain't doing anything. It don't even smell nice. So I'm gonna use the pink stuff. I'm gonna take everything over here so I can give it a proper clean. that with my tips then. <laughs> I'm just using a clean tea towel to go over it and dry it. <laughs> so these are all the um, splash marks and I also do you know on this cupboard here I don't want to get rid of the um, pictures the kids did but you know these stickers I want to get rid of them so that is my mission today Hi. He's like, did I do that? Hey, I've got another dishmatic for my pots. I won't use this one on my pots, obviously. But do you know what? Just once a week, giving these a good scrub, it keeps on top of it. I haven't done it for weeks, months, so don't listen to me. This, I'm trying to tell myself <laughs> my plans. These are my plans. Definitely looks better. You know, if you look at this cupboard, how lucky that one is. This is just like wear and tear, but yeah, it's loads better. There's no marks on it now. So I'm gonna do that cupboard and then I'm gonna do the stickers. What I'm gonna do is just soak them with this for a bit. It might make it easier to come off, but I'm not gonna take these off. You know, my kids did these years ago, so I don't wanna take them off, but these I can't stand now, so. Yeah, I'm going to leave them soak for a bit and then I'll um, take them off. To be fair, it's uh, coming off all right. I felt like it took forever, but um, yeah, that is the um, cupboards and whatnot done. I just need to do my cooking now. this week's episode of what's behind the cooker so do you know what it's been worse <laughs> it's been worse <laughs> honestly yeah i felt like i didn't do it that long ago as well you know but we've got a uh, wooden thingy my bob we've got a spoon the pink stuff on it to soak for a good 10 minutes so it's easy just to you know get all this shit off which is just like food you know when you spill stuff down the side of the cooker it's had the once over but I just want to you know make sure 
it's proper clean before I tackle the floor. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this to soak again for five to 10 minutes. Behind the cooker is done. All clean now, so I just need to do the cooker and then push it back in. I am on coffee number two. I need it, I tell you that. Uh, right, I want to sort out. Let me move this box. I'm going to make some wax melts in a bit. Let me move it for now. Sorry if you can't hear me over my uh, fucking hell, over my dry washer, even. I need to sort this out. This is dusty as fuck, man. Alright, hang on. I'll give that a good wipe in a minute. Oh, bloody hell. Just pop this over here. Hang on. In all honesty, it's not that bad around here. I'll tell you what is bad behind my um, cooker. Not cooker, I've just done that. You know what I mean. You don't know what I mean, do you? What am I on about? Washer. Behind my washer needs doing desperately. I'm going to have stir fry tonight. Found this sauce, look, that sounds amazing. So I'm going to have that tonight. But behind here, ain't that bad. Look, it's not that bad, is it? That's that side done. Hey, Ron. Hey. Had a wash, it's just drying, so I'm gonna fill my salt back up. Seen this hack right on TikTok where to clean your air fryer because as you can see mine's a bit minging. Alright. Fairy liquid, hot water, and then stick it on. You know, this might be an absolute pile of shit, but I'll stick it on for I don't know, five minutes. See how we get on. Most of the kitchen is done. I've done all the sides. Um, I've yet to test out. We'll have a look at how my the uh, coin words out. How my air fryer, hair fryer, air fryer, little hackers done from TikTok. But my pots are done. I've washed my burner as well. Um, dog bowls are just in soak. I did put a new head on the. Uh, thingy my bob but I have got a brand new one for all the pots in the drawer um, anyway yeah brand new one so I'll use that after but there was a new head on it for all the blur oh my god before I do the animal bowls but yeah all the um cupboards have been done they've all been wiped down they're nice and clean I have done my door because that were covered in mud that's all been done so yeah just the floor really needs a hoover and mop so I'm gonna put Steve's sliders on but I'm gonna, yeah, test this out. So I'm excited. It's an upright hoover and it's cordless. I hope I ain't gotta charge it. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. So it's the Pro Scenic cordless vacuum hoover. So this is this in. The manual. 
Blimey. Don't ask me why I thought it <laughs> it would already come, you know, assembled. Oh blimey, what is that? It's got um that on it. And a spare one. Oh, yeah, flashing the joint. Here we are, this is the pipe, is it? Right, bear with me and I'll uh, get it up. Just assembled it right, and I didn't realise that not only is it a hoover, but it's a mop as well. I didn't know that. So I was reading this right, and it says here take out the water tank, remove the mop cloth, empty the water tank, wash the cloth. Blimey. This, honestly, I feel dead posh with this. But you can like take the pole bit off, pipe off, sorry, and then it's like a handheld one. <gasps> it's quite weighty. It's definitely a weighty bit of kit. with my normal mop for now because I don't know how to do it so once I've figured it out <laughs> I just want to get mopped kitchen floor is drying now so I'm going to pick all this up from Crash's teddy that he's got everywhere bloody knackered honestly do you know when you start something and then you wish you never started but he needed it to be honest and we've got Steve's family coming round very soon so <laughs> Better get move on. Oh, bloody hell. Honestly, I better burn some calories. Look at all this from his teddy. This is the um, Fabuloso Room and Fabric Freshener. So I always put a bit on my rug or whatever I've got to freshen up. A bit on the sofas. A bit on this. And that, my friends, is the lounge done. Polished, hoovered, mopped, sprayed. The little dog, I say little, is having a sleep. I'm not going to say his name. He's in the crate. Who can I see? <laughs> no. Everywhere is um, tidy. In here is done. The floor's done. Ubered and mopped. Sides are done. 
I forgot to check the air fryer, didn't I? <laughs> see. Oh bloody hell, I'll have to do that in a minute. I forgot to go back to that. Touch screen and everything. Can't believe it. Quite a snazzy bit of kit. I've yet to try the mop mechanism on it, but I will be. I didn't even know it was touch screen, you know. I'm shocked that it's a mop as well, honestly. But yeah, quite impressed. So I'm very thankful to Procenic for sending me that out. Procenic. It's a bit weighty, but it's nice. I am a big sweaty mess now, state of it. <laughs> Honestly, I, yeah, I feel so hot and sweaty. I need to go and have a shower. I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna get out of the house, a bit of fresh air, go for a walk with the kids, um, at the beach on their scooters. But yeah, that is the house done. Mine I have one of my coffees, you know, instead of like a plain black one. I really fancy it before I get in the shower. But um, Steve's family was coming around, they're not now. But we're gonna see them tomorrow. It takes the pressure off today, <laughs> making sure every nook and cranny is tidy. But um, yeah, that's it. I just wanna say thank you to ProScenic for sending me out the Hoover. They have got a sale on, um, which ends tomorrow, I think it is. I'll link it below, only if you want to. As I always say, they are a brand that specializes in like cleaning bits and like, they've got like a robotic Hoover and all kinds of shit. I've never had a cordless Hoover before though. I've seen all like the Dyson ones and, you know, all the other fancy ones and stuff, but I've never actually had one. And it's very, I don't know, it's very posh, very nice. I'm gonna try out the mop this week as well. So I will do like another clean with me and that. I've got to do my bath blah, bathroom yet. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that today, it's not that bad. But yeah, um, like I said, they have got a sale on. So, you know, it ends very soon if you wanna check it out, only if you want to. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm gonna have a coffee now. I wanna say as well, if the giveaway winner could get in touch, um, if you have seen, um, it was in my makeup video I did. Was it my makeup video? Yes, my makeup video. So I think it's Katie Hunt. Katie Hunt was the winner, I hope I've got it right. Um, it's in my screenshots anyway. But if you could get in, no, get in touch, cause I'll have to redo it at the weekend and stuff. But um, yeah, that's it, that's the end of the video. As always my friends, don't let any kids get you down. All right, if you've got a messy house, bit by bit my friends, okay. My cupboards were disgusting, all right, we're done now. Do you know what I mean? It is done. Like, all the mud is off, I've done all the doors, you know, it's proper tidy now and it feels good, it feels good, but if you only manage a bit, you know, some days I cannot be asked to do anything. Do you know what I mean? Some days I just, I'm like, not for me, not today. I'd rather go out, outside, out of mind. <laughs> then I come home and I'm like, shit, I should have tied it up. But yeah, it's all done now and it feels good. You know, but bit by bit, all right? Don't give a fuck what anyone says. I certainly don't, all right? I do not give a shit what anyone says, okay? My house, you know, that's just how it is, all right? I love you, and I'll see you in my next video.